how to improve shoulder flexion means you are stretching the muscles that is extensor muscles okay the clothing should be free the cloth should be free okay then lying position see that pillow is not obstructing the flexion so you can okay you can make the pillow little towards the other side okay then first one is stabilization now the muscle you know the latissimus dorsi latissimus dorsi that muscle will come from here from the iliac bone it will come here and it will attaches here in the humerus in the humerus if it is tight if it is very tight you can't get this flexion now what i am showing here is now what i am showing here is how to stretch this latissimus dorsi okay now we are stabilizing the pelvis means one end of the muscle one end of the muscle we are stabilizing with one hand we will support the hand we will support the limb which we are moving person will be exactly to a no in the line with the shoulder joint stabilize then give the stretch force can you feel that stretch yes hmm? yes where here okay so that is a stretch for latissimus dorsi latissimus see this is the how you have to support and here the iliac bone you can if you see you know if you palpate you can feel that iliac bone crust okay so keep one hand give pressure down and this pressure up we can take is it okay and you have to stand exactly at the shoulder joint exactly at the shoulder joint so this is to improve the shoulder flexion okay next we will see about shoulder abduction shoulder abduction okay so for shoulder abduction you can go for 90 degrees of shoulder abduction or you can go from here itself okay now here you want to stabilize you want to stabilize means i am stretching adductor muscles i am stretching adductor muscles it is pectoralis teres major latissimus mainly it is pectoralis major and teres major muscles which are attached here they are the major adductors okay apart from there are some other muscles but major these two muscles now here you want to stabilize again you have to stand exactly at the shoulder level okay near the shoulder joint okay see this is a support this is how you want to support to get the movement okay then stabilize the scapula stabilize the scapula you can feel the scapula here. okay then go for abduction so you are stretching adductor muscles adductor muscles stabilize as much as possible the scapula if you are not stabilizing the scapula no stretch understood okay so this is the second one to improve abduction and you are stretching adductor muscles how can i stabilize the scapula you are with your palm see this is the scapula okay here you will be the scapula see now now i am moving the scapula can you feel that movement this is the scapula this is the scapula okay so the scapular movement can give a movement in your upper limb okay now i am stabilizing that scapula to get better stretch in the adduction adductor muscles stabilize stabilize if you are not stabilize scapula will also come like that so you have to stabilize then only you can get the stretch you can get the stretch okay so this is adductor stretch okay next we will see how to stretch you know 
What is this moment? Which moment is this? This is external rotation and this is internal rotation. First, we will see how to improve external rotation. Means, which muscle I have to stretch? If I want to improve external rotation, which muscles I have to stretch? Opposite is what? What is the opposite muscles for external rotation? This is external rotation. What is the muscle opposite for that? Internal rotators. We have to stretch internal rotators. If I stretch my internal rotators, I can get better external rotation. Okay. So I as I already told, opposite group of muscles we have to stretch if you want to improve any range of motion. Just keep it in mind. That's all. Can you move little like that, sir? Move. Okay. So now here you have to abduct the shoulder for 35 to 40 degrees. Give some support for the arm. Give support for the arm. Now you have to stand facing to the facing to the feet, facing towards the feet of the patient. Now stabilize. Okay, you want to stabilize the shoulder stabilize here okay support the forearm this is the forearm support the forearm then give the stretch give the stretch okay so this is to stretch the internal rotators internal rotators what is the movement you are improving you are improving external rotation okay if you want to have better take this to the 90 degrees take to 90 degrees support support sorry stabilize the shoulder then slowly go for stretch okay see okay so this is a support this is a stabilization and go further this is to improve what movement External rotation and which muscles you are stretching? Internal. Okay. Now, how to improve internal rotation? Now we have to improve internal rotation. So, what muscle I have to stretch? External. Now, for this, I have to stabilize the shoulder. See, this is how I have to stabilize. I have to stabilize the shoulder. See, if I am not stabilizing, if I am not stabilizing, if I do this movement, even shoulder will rise. Then you won't get any stretch. Okay, if I want to get some stretch, get the shoulder into 90 degrees, give some support, stabilize the shoulder, and just go for, can you feel some stretch? Yes. Where? Where? Now, yeah. So it's a stretch for external rotation. It's a stretch for external rotation. Sorry, external rotators to improve internal rotation. Okay. So this is internal rotation. I am stretching external rotators. External rotators. So is it okay? Okay. So we have seen for flexion. We have seen for abduction. We have seen for internal and external rotation. Now next movement, we will see how to stretch to improve extension. So for that, we have to go for prone. Go for prone. So now here, if you want to improve the... If I want to improve extension, if I want to improve extension, which muscle I have to stretch? Which muscle I have to stretch? Huh? Flexors, shoulder flexors, shoulder flexors. So to uh, stretch the shoulder flexors, I have to stabilize the scapula. Okay, then support the hand like this and go for stretch. Okay, so stabilize, then go for stretch. Okay. 
so this is to improve what to improve shoulder shoulder extension shoulder extension so this is a stabilization of scapula and you are supporting the hand and you are going for extension going for extension okay so this is to stretch the shoulder flexors shoulder flexors to improve shoulder extension is it okay okay so we have seen you uh, know the muscles and the movements which we have to improve in upper limb is it okay now we will go for lower limb so next we will see how to improve shoulder sorry hip flexion what are the hip flexors what are the hip flexor muscles uh, uh, what are the hip flexor muscles pectineus pectineus good and pectineus uh, iliacus iliacus okay so those are the muscles which are for hip flexion now what are hip extensors gluteus uh, gluteus maximus gluteus maximus and mm. hamstring and hamstrings okay now to improve shoulder sorry to improve hip flexion to improve hip flexion so we have to see the major muscle we have to stretch is hamstring what is the muscle hamstring which comes here hamstring muscle which is back of the thigh okay so how to stretch this okay hamstring so you have to stabilize the opposite leg stabilize the opposite leg okay then hold the leg and go for hip flexion hip flexion okay so we have to stabilize with the other hand the opposite leg okay understood so with this hand we have to stabilize with the other hand we have to go for hip flexion okay okay so this is standing with the standing the other way we can go with the other way we can keep with the other knee one knee or you can go for hold like that okay stabilizing here and we can go for hip flexion okay or with one knee also you can stabilize can you get the stretch yes see if i am not sure can now now yes now now yes see if you are not stabilizing this leg you won't get stretch here understood see now do you get any stretch yes now yes more yes i am here very important is support this if you are not supporting you won't get the stretch okay so this is to improve hip flexion and you are stretching hamstring muscle you are stretching hamstring muscle okay next <coughs> go for prolong next is how to improve hip extension hip extension now we have to stretch iliacus pectineus okay muscles of hip flexors so now here you want to stabilize the pelvis you want to stabilize the pelvis and you have to stand just over the hip stabilize this can you feel the stretch yes okay so this is for what this is for what this is to improve the extension and which muscles you are stretching which are they they are hip hip flexors hip flexors stabilize and go for stretch okay and there is one more way to stretch this can you please come down so the next one is same way to stretch the hip flexors it should be little high 
You hold the other hip and give pressure from this side. Give pressure in the other side. Can you get the stretch? Yes. Where? Here. No, no, no. This side? This side? No? Yes. Where? Where you are getting stretch? No, no, no. This side. Here. This side. This side. No? This side. So this is to get the hip flexor. The height is not comfortable here. We need little more height. Can you lie it? Up. Up. No, lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Okay? So the more height so that you can go more down so that you can get better stretch. So then again, hold the other leg in the flexion and give extension to the other hip. Now, where? Okay, so that is the stretch for iliacus and pectineus, even for rectus femoris. Rectus femoris. So this is to improve what movement? This is to improve what movement? Hip extension. Hip extension. This is hip extension. Okay. Understood? Come. Now next we will see how to improve knee flexion. How to improve knee flexion. Go for prone. Prone. So you have to keep, yeah, come on. So we have to keep now pillow or towel under the knee. Stabilize the pelvis, stabilize the pelvis, and you can stretch. Can you feel the stretch? Yes. Where? That is for work muscle. What is the muscle which I am stretching now? What is the muscle? Huh? What? Don't dance. Tell me what we are doing. So this is to stretch the this is to stretch the knee extensors. What is the muscle name for knee extension? What is the muscle? Knee extension. Quadriceps. Quadriceps. Mainly it's on rectus femoris, vastus medialis, and vastus lateralis. Vastus lateralis. Okay. So this is to improve what? Knee flexion. knee flexion. To improve knee flexion, you are stretching quadriceps muscle. You are stretching quadriceps, especially rectus femoris. Rectus femoris. Okay. Now, after this, now there are uh, two ranges for knee extension. You know, knee extension, this is knee extension. Okay. Yeah. People may have. Okay, problem in two ranges, one in mid range, one in the mid range. This is what the mid range for knee extension and the other one is end range. Another one is end range. See, so persons, if there is any tightness of hip flexors, there might be a problem in mid range or in the terminal range or end range. Now how to stretch? What is this muscle? Hamstring. Hamstring. Okay? To improve mid range of extension. To improve mid range of extension. So you have to stabilize the femur. You have to stabilize the femur. Then give an force. He is having better. He is having good extension. So no problem. But for problem, if there is any problem with mid range of extension here, go for prone lying. Keep some towel and no, down the femur, stabilize the femur and give stretch. Stretch force down to improve mid range. Definitely, after your completion of course, you will have a case with this kind of problem. Then you have to stretch the hamstring to improve mid range of extension. Is it okay? Obviously. Next, how to improve? Yeah, go for supine. Go for supine. Yes. 
now how to improve end range end range end range of extension end range means this is the end range from here to here end range of extension if there is any tightness in the hamstring now how to stretch for that okay give the pillow or some towel under then hold the femur and give extension force this is to improve what this is to improve end range of knee extension end range of <coughs> knee extension and what muscle you are stretching here hamstring hamstring, hamstring muscle okay? okay so this is for mid range in the prone lying stabilizing the femur and giving the extension and for terminal extension supine lying giving the pillow or towel down the femur stabilize the femur and go for extension can you feel some stretch yes where okay so this is how to stretch for to improve mid range and end range of knee extension so we have seen hip flexion hip extension and we have seen knee flexion and knee extension and knee extension is there any other movements trunk and all uh, you can't if i told also you can't uh, in the knee or on no any other in the hip the hip uh, other action of the trunk so we have to stretch for knee uh, sorry hip abduction there might be some tightness of knee adductor so you want to stretch for knee abduction so stabilize the other hand leg and take the okay so stabilize support and take for abduction take for abduction you can go the range how much you want okay so this is to stretch what muscle adductor muscle can you tell me adductor muscles adductor adductor muscles of for hip uh, hip adductors adductors not abductors adductors what are the hip adductors adductor longus adductor brevis adductor maximus adductor maximus what are the abductor muscles for hip abductor muscles abductor gluteus maximus gluteus medius gluteus medius very strong abductor muscles for hip okay so now we have seen how to improve the hip abduction stretching of hip adductors that is adductor longus adductor brevis adductor magnus okay is there any other movements in the hip any other movements very good so now anyway can you go for prone okay so this is to now if i bend what is this movement what rotation this is external rotation this is external rotation if i do this it will go for internal rotation okay now never never ever don't ever stretch the what is this movement external rotation so to improve external never uh, stretch the internal rotators if you do that movement your hip will get dislocated don't do that understood so don't do this movement to over if you do it hip will get dislocated you know what is a bone it is femur acetabulum will come outside of the no, now from the acetabulum femoral head will come outside so don't do that only we can stretch we can stretch for what muscle so what is this movement this is internal rotation so you can uh, again keep some towel okay stabilize the pelvis stabilize the pelvis hold the you can hold like that okay then give stretch can you feel some stretch yes where that is what external 
rotators external rotators i am stretching external rotators so if i am not stabilizing here if i am not stabilizing here the body will move so there won't be any stretch so stabilize and go for can you get the stretch now yes okay can you get now no so if i stabilize now yes okay so stabilization is important for any stretch is it okay yes okay so now last we will see the stretching for ankle can you please come to supine yeah please be there be there now go for prone 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 now there are can you tell me what are ankle plantar flexors Okay. Plantar flexors. Ankle. This hip. No. What are the muscles? The ankle. Uh, calf. Yeah, calf muscle means what muscles? There are muscles called gastrocnemius and soleus. Gastrocnemius will be two heads. Okay. Gastrocnemius will have two heads. One on the medial, the other on the lateral. It will come and attaches here. which is the long muscle it is long muscle gastrocnemius there is one more muscle soleus which will be very short which will be very short all these three gastrocnemius soleus combine to form your calf muscle combine to form your calf muscle so which is the long muscle which is the long muscle gastrocnemius which is the shortest muscle soleus now first we will see how to stretch soleus not gastrocnemius how to stretch Sorry. soleus so if you want Sorry. prone lying give some support under the under the femur then stabilize the leg lower leg you can give your force like that can you get stretch yes where show me where here no here Okay, so it's an uh, stretch for. This is an stretch for soleus. This is an stretch for so, soleus, which is the short muscle of calf. Okay, so calf muscle consists of three. That is lateral head of uh, gastrocnemius, medial head of gastrocnemius, which is long, and the other one is soleus. Okay, now I am showing you how to stretch for. soleus muscle soleus muscle it should be prone lying give some support uh, no towel or pillow under the leg under the femur then flex the knee maintain it 90 degrees support the lower leg or stabilize the lower leg and give a stretch force okay so this is for soleus okay next how to stretch for gastrocnemius very simple can you go for supine lying supine okay so lie down so here you have to stabilize the leg support see your palm should be under the heel and with your forearm with your forearm don't you force here like this you will uh, problem you will have a problem in shoulder so now take your body weight like that okay don't give force with your shoulder like this no take your body weight body weight do with your body weight like this okay so you won't get any pressure in your shoulder okay it's just moving your body weight do you feel some stretch yes. so that is for gastrocnemius gastrocnemius okay so these are the stretches these are the stretches which you can do in lying supine prone side lying whatever it may be these are basic there are so many stretches these are the basic passive stretchings which can be done by physiotherapist okay there is last one more stretching which is very important 
can you come for sit sitting sit sit in this can you please keep your hand here so this is to stretch for you know, elbow flexor sorry wrist flexors what are the wrist flexors wrist flexors wrist flexor what muscles tell flexor carpi ulnaris flexor distorum superficialis flexor distorum profundus okay so these are the major muscles of Mainly flexor pulse is longest, flexor distorum, mainly flexor distorum profundus and flexor distorum superficialis. They will come from the medial condyle, from here and they will come like this and attaches to the fingers and all, wrist. Okay, now how to stretch this? Very simple here is, make the patient to sit, keep your elbow in the flexion position, okay, stabilize the forearm. It should be in pronation, then slowly you have to give a stretching like this. Can you get the stretch? Yes. Okay, so this is a stretch for, this is a... This is a stretch for, for okay. what? Wrist flexors, wrist flexors. flexors. Can you get the stretch? Yes. Okay, make sure that Elbow is in flexion. If elbow is in this, then you can't get this stretch. Okay, make sure that elbow is in flexion. Then if you give some stretch force, you can create the stretching. Okay, so this is to improve the wrist extension. Wrist extension. Okay, generally these are the muscles which will be shortened. So you want to stretch these muscles. Okay, so with that we have... Uh, Completed lot of stretchings. Stretching of muscles. This is passive stretching. This is flexion. Same, you have to give some towel over here, 90 degrees. Okay, holding that and go for shoulder up. Or you can be here, or you can go here, and you can do like this. This is to improve the shoulder abduction. Now, self, anyone. Can you please show me how you will stretch for uh, improving flexion? How will you stretch? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> now bend this leg and go down. Go down. This is to stretch the hamstring. This is to stretch the... Can you get stretch here? Okay? If you want more stretch, come on. Oi. Come here. If you want more stretch, Touch this. Now flexibility. Okay, now how to do that here is remove, remove. Now here, keep this here. First you will get some stretch. Okay, if you want more stretch, you can feel that stretch here if you bend the other leg. Okay? This is actually I am doing for adductors. If you want flexors, you can do that. If you want more stretch of this, try to touch that. Bending. If you go for more bending, you will get more stretch. Is it okay? Okay? And if I turn my leg to this side, and if I do here, then I will get for adductor stretch. If you want, you can try. For this, I ask you to come in lab dress. If you come in this dress, you can't do it. I will put zero in your lab if you come in this way. Okay? okay? So this is for what? This is to improve hip flexion, stretching of hamstring. This is for hamstring stretch. If I turn like this, if I do like this, this is for adductor. This is for adductor. Do it. First do the, first do the hamstring. This is for where you are getting pain now. Yeah. Now turn your leg. Keep it like this. Otherwise keep it like this. Yeah. This is for what? Adductor. Very simple. Okay? Now how to stretch for hip flexors? How will you stretch for hip flexors? 
Do it, do it. You have to see the difference. <laughs> no, no. What you are doing while you are feeling no stretch? Do it. Where stretch? Now turn the left. Now make your legs right. Now where? That is for hamstring. Okay? Yeah. How to improve the extension? See, if you want to have a better extension, keep one hand up, take the leg, and try to stretch like this. Balance. Huh? Balance. No. This is to stretch. Stretch, stretch. Make your body straight. Okay, now, if you are not getting like that, take the leg, okay, then go for stretch. Then you will get stretch here. Hip flexors, you make your body down. Okay, stretching off, hip flexors. Same way, see, come on. So now, this is to stretch hamstring. Okay, now if I go like this, this is to stretch adductors. Now if I go like this, this is to stretch hip flexors. In the same position, you can do all stretches. Is it okay? Okay. Yeah? Okay, now how to stretch for uh, ankle plantar flexors? Ankle plantar. Plantar. Okay, that is okay somehow. Any other? Very good. Bending, bending yourself. Yeah, like this one, sir. Bending your son. Stand. 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 Okay, you keep down. You down. You down. Say, now, yeah, you come here. I want your support. I will do. You are not model. I am model. Okay? So you need some support. Go back, then leave your body weight down. Hey, stabilize this, otherwise I will fall. Hold, hold it. Keep your legs there. Oh. Okay, otherwise it will go up. I will fall there. Now hold like this and leave your body weight down. That's easy. Easy? Come. No, that's easy only. Leave your body weight down. Good. Do you feel stretch? Here? Yes. Yeah. So that is to stretch. See, these are the things which you will do before going for the playing part. It is gastronemia. Gasoline. Do, do. Everyone, please try. 